Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem check whether kth bit is set or not. Talking about the feedback of this problem, this problem is a easy level problem. It would teach you how really the bit manipulation works, more specifically how left and right shift basically works and what is the use of it. Okay? So now let us move to the sample test case we don't really need to discuss the problem statement because it is very clear that we just need to check if the kth bit is set or not so here it is told that the value is 4 so the binary representation of 4 is 100 zero zero. if the 0th bit is set or not no it is not set that is why the value is no okay the very next is if 4 if the second bit is set or not yes it is 0 1 2 so that that, that is why when asked for the second bit the value is a uh, yes let's talk about 500 okay 500 the sum binary representation would be very long enough so how we are really finding out if the bit is set or not we are going to that bit and then we are checking if it is equal to 0 or 1 in the binary representation so the simple idea would be convert it to a binary binary representation convert it to binary and then see if it is that or not so what we really can do is instead of that let's say it is something like 1000 okay so if somehow let's say let's make this as one also okay so if i want to check if the first bit is set or not what we can have is if we have something like 1 at this point like 1 at this point and 0 everywhere else okay so if 1 and 1 so if the value present above like if I fix up this value as 1 if I fix up this value as 1 so if the other value if the value on the number if it is equal to 1 it would result as 1 because 1 and 1 is 1 0 and 1 is 0 so if I fix the value below th then it would result to 0 or 1 according to the bit set in the given number okay this is how we are doing that now how we really can do that like how I can make this one come here and rest all the values at 0 can I make this like this can I make something like this can I make something like this can I make something like this? Okay. Can I make something like just this? Okay. So, this is nothing. But I can say, 1, left shift by 3. What is the binary representation of 1? So, 1 when shifted by 1, it would come here. Then 2 and then 3. This is nothing but 1 left shifted by 1. This is nothing but 1 left shifted by 2. This is nothing but 1 left shifted by 0. So what I can really do is I can simply have the number and do a AND with 1 left shift with the value that I want to check. If that value is equal to 1, the bit is set because 1 and 1, if it is 1, then it is set. If 0 and 1 is there, then it is not set. Simple enough. Let us move to the implementation and that would make more sense. So, I would say return n and 1 left shift by k. And this should be giving me a correct answer. Okay. Seems correct. And yes, this is solved. So this problem was this small. So that's it from my side. Like the time complexity. Uh, this is a bit representation. I'm using We are using mathematical operators. So, so we are only using mathematical operators. So the time complexity would be big of one. We are not using any variables. Neither any data structure. So the space complexity is also big of one. 
that's it for today thank you and have a nice day